You might have seen a part of World War II history fly over Bakersfield today. The Liberty Foundation tour is coming uh, today. Their B-17 made a promotional stop at Meadows Field. 17's Paul Harris got an up-close look at the flying fortress, and he joins us now with more. Paul. Tammy, the B-17 is called the Memphis Bell, and this Saturday, for a fee, you can get a feel for a piece of flying history. Somewhere in England, the crew of a battle-scarred American flying fortress, the Memphis Bell, departs for home. Fast forward 70 years, a replica of the bomber that flew during World War II makes its way to the Epic Jet Center in Bakersfield. The nonprofit group, the Liberty Foundation, tours the nation with its B-17, part of a living museum staffed by volunteers like pilot Bob Hill. Allow people to, again, visit a piece of that battlefield in the sky that they just can't visit, unlike a battlefield on the ground. For 17 News photographer Cesar Espinoza, it was not only his first time in a B-17, but his first time flying in an airplane. For more seasoned veterans of the bomber, a reunion can be emotional. They feel a kinship, if you will, with the airplane. Sometimes it's, it's emotional for people. We, we see them break down in the airplane. More than 12,000 B-17s were built starting around 1935. As far as the Memphis Belt, the Air Force says it was one of the first B-17s to fly 25 combat missions over Europe and often in bitterly cold conditions. Uh, our World War II veterans were typically at minus 40 degrees Celsius at altitude, and that's why you see all the pictures wearing the fleece-lined suits, etc. You take your, hand, uh, your glove off and it would be, you know, frostbit within a minute. The replica bomber was also used in the 1990 movie Memphis Bell, starring Matthew Modine and Harry Connick Jr. On Saturday, you can pay for a ride and even sit in the nose of this majestic plane. Now, flights start at 10 a.m. this Saturday at the Epic Jet Center at Meadows Field. The cost is $450 per person. Organizers say it costs about $4,500 per flight hour to operate the bomber. They will also have a P-51 Mustang for rides, which cost $1,500 per person. For more information, visit libertyfoundation.org or call 918-340-0243. And around 3 p.m. or after the last ride of the day, the B-17 will be open to the public for a ground tour free of charge. Paul Harris, 17 News. All right, a great history lesson up close. So to come on 17 News at 11.